Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I have this tumbler that I did with, this is printable adhesive vinyl. This is just regular adhesive vinyl, regular adhesive vinyl. And I want to resin this. Now I have played with resin before and done many things, but I haven't done a tumbler. So this will be new to me. And I went ahead and picked this up at Michael's. They had a 50% off coupon. And I got just this. They do have accessories or a bigger kit that has all this really cool stuff in it. But I don't need all that since I have um, many of the supplies that you would need. So let's open this up. So this <laughs> will be an experiment for me. <laughs> okay. I'm playing around with this and I see something interesting. This knob here, when you screw it down, it elongates these wires. These are what hold your cup in place while you're tumb tumbler. The more you uh, screw it that way, the more lo the longer these get and therefore the narrower. If you want a fatter cup or a fatter tumbler, rotate it so it goes this way. It shortens um, these and makes them stick out more to hold your cup. Pretty cool. Okay, and I see on the back there is a speed adjustment knob. This is off, and I can hear it click. When I turn that on, the I would assume that the more you rotate that, the faster it's going to go. And for I, which would probably be okay for glittering, but for epoxy, you want to use a really slow setting on that. Oh, I'm so excited! So what I'm going to do is I am going to cover everything up here because I did mess around with epoxy and get a little epoxy on my cutting mat the other day. So I want to make sure that my entire area is splash proof. Okay, so a little bit of prep here. Um, I figured out the width of this for my cup and this is a USB plug-in. So fortunately I do have an adapter so I can plug that in, excuse my reach get that cord out of my way and so one of the things I did I covered my surface with freezer paper with the shiny side down for your sake but then under here I did do shiny side up have a pair of uh, disposable gloves you can see this one I've already used before and I taped off the inside with electrical tape and just pushed it a little bit over the ridge because I want to make sure that uh, my lid will still snap down in place when I'm done here I am going to fix that on here. And now you can see when I turn this on, that's about how slow you want it to go when you're applying it. Okay, and I am using Amazing Clear Cast, which I got from um, Hobby Lobby. I'm going to mix equal parts. I don't know how much it's going to take because I haven't done this before on a, met on a tumbler. So I'm going to, I think, go to the 20 ml line, mix those two together for five minutes, and then we'll start pouring. Okay. I had to take my gloves off to get my camera set up, and in doing so, I tore one of my gloves. So starting over with a fresh pair. This is all mixed up, or mixed in. That's as slow as I can get it to start anyway. And I'm actually going to take a brush to get right up against the very edge here to create that lip line without it soaking through the tape here.
Alrighty. I'm going to let this spin for half an hour and then I'm going to take the tape off and let it finish up. Okay, this is the big reveal. So I left this in the spinet for 10 hours. It wasn't necessary and really just an hour or two would have been okay, but I I have a touching problem <laughs> when I have something that's drying. I always want to see how it's doing and I get fingerprints in it. So I was trying to be really, really good and leave it alone. So I'm really happy with it. I mean, I couldn't be more thrilled. So obviously there are tiny little imperfections. I see a little air bubble right there. And just a couple of like where it's not totally smooth. I don't know why it's a little dark right there. And there's a like a little birthmark or something there. It's almost like ink got on it. You know what? This is kind of bumpy. It's like something got on it from my craft mat. Who knows? But all in all, I mean, it's really great. And I love it. Um, yeah. And th look at the bottom. Isn't that perfect? I'm glad I did that. I, I like it better than the where you mask off the bottom. I do want to try a glitter one now, and I know it's more work because you glitter it, and then you epoxy over that, let it uh, cure, and then epoxy over that again. Now, this brand of epoxy was my first time working with it. I like it. So after it was too late, I read in the instructions that you could put um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol in a fine mister like this distress sprayer and that you could mist it with the alcohol and it would pop the bubbles. So I definitely will do that one next time. You have to do it after 10 minutes, but I, I had waited too long before I saw that. So all in all, like I said, I'm really happy. I think that the, um, the spinet did exactly what I needed it to do and I would like to do more of these. So yeah, um, it's just that I'm, I'm not putting a second coat on because there's no need. There is a coat over my vinyl. If you're glittering, you do glitter and then epoxy, and then you do vinyl uh, and then epoxy. So there still is only one layer of the um, epoxy over the vinyl. And this is the printable vinyl right here, and I will give you a link down below to the video where I show me using this. One thing I would like to try, and that's use the printable vital, vinyl and then hand cut it and see if I can peel the backing off for those of you who don't have digital cutting machines and still want to use printable vinyl. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. Oh, and here is the bit with the uh, lid there. So does fit, looks great. This little slides over.